Hello, uh, my name is Adel. Uh, I'm from Syria. I had been living here in Samos around uh, six months. And uh, the situation here in the Vathi camp, it's so difficult, uh, the, so difficult to living here. The people here in the, his living, they're living in the jungle. They are not, uh, they are not uh, anything to protect him, especially now with the virus Corona. Uh, and also specifically also for the kids, the kids they, they always they in the street they playing with the, everything uh, they see it in the ground, and it's so dangerous also for them. Adele is one of around 8,000 refugees living in this camp on the Greek island of Samos. That's more than 10 times its capacity. Children play in dirty water next to piles of trash. As you see, also there, also there are a lot of the bathroom there, right, right here, uh, which is uh, so disgusting and so dirty. There are, there are a lot of the trash also. Oh my God. Over the last few weeks, a number of fires have broken out in the camp. The cause of the blazes is not yet known, but they've left thousands of people without even basic shelter. The conditions are all a far cry from those recommended to prevent COVID-19. In relation to COVID-19, the, the measures that have been put in place are, to be frank, non-existent. Um, it, it's extremely difficult to affect anything measurable when people are living in tents in an overcrowded environment and it's not possible to practice social distancing or have access to hygiene facilities. As it currently is, there's no running water, there's not access to electricity. Um, so, so how can you how can you do something as simple as wash your hands? On top of that, the way in which food is distributed in the camp, which is basically comprises of a long line that asylum seekers wait in for hours every day, means that thousands of people are coming together. And, and without the decongestion of the camp itself, there can't be any effective measure against COVID-19. There hasn't yet been an outbreak of COVID-19 in the camps on Samos, but some on the Greek mainland have been quarantined after confirmed coronavirus cases. The Greek government's in a really difficult position. They, they certainly haven't done enough to respond very quickly to the threat of the virus, but their options available to the government are really limited. They can relocate people to the mainland, but this would require moving people to camps there, which are already overcrowded themselves. The other alternative is for more effective burden sharing across the European Union. Uh, and this is something that Greece and the government have been asking for and demanding. But as yet, countries haven't opened their, their borders and opened themselves to accepting refugees in these overcrowded camps. COVID-19 hasn't just made the refugee crisis worse on land. People are still trying to make it to Europe by sea. Countries like Italy and Malta have responded by closing their ports, leaving no way for ships that have rescued refugees and migrants to dock. Doctors Without Borders has accused EU states of using COVID-19 to shirk search and rescue operations. Most recently, with the arrival of COVID or the spread of COVID, especially in Italy, that is facing a, a real challenge, the authorities appear to have used that COVID excuse as, um, as a way to justify, again, uh, migra migration control policies. But it's not just Italy. There's uh, these knee-jerking reactions from a number of European countries closing all their borders, with no exceptions, including for people who are in need of international protection, who are fleeing persecution and conflict, and who find themselves even more stuck. On land and at sea, the EU response to COVID-19 has left refugees like Adele more at risk than ever. Well, what can I say? I just hope these people to find peace one day.